In this video, you will learn how to troubleshoot shorting in a mobile PCB. We have a Pixel 6 Pro right here that is not powering on and there is a short in a mobile PCB but the VBAT line is not shorting which means that the battery connector is not shorting. We have a secondary short. So using my bead mapping, you can see I'm getting into the charging section of the mobile PCB and uh, i found a short you can see these capacitors right here also from the bin mapping so there is a short right there where i just click the mouse you can see it blinking so there is a short in that line and using the bin mapping when i click it i'm clicking because i want to find where the this particular line is connected to in the whole pcb i want to find the other part that the line is connected to to the to the pcb and see the components so that I can uh, know where I can expect to test and find a shot. So after doing that, I use my multimeter to to check again, so that you will see what exactly that I'm doing here. So the 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 place blinking in the bit mapping is the exact section here. You can see the capacitors, right? So if you check, you will see there is a shot there. If you look at my multimeter. There is a short this particular place where I'm pointing at right here. It was supposed to give a reading above 300, 350. But you can see the reading that uh, a short right there, which means that there is a full shot. So because of this, this is the reason why the phone cannot power on. So what I had to do, I had to look into the other sections. As you can see, we have the power manager IC here. We have two power manager ICs on this mobile PCB. You can see where the line that I just click is connected to any blinking part, blinking component. That means that the line is connected to and also means that any of these lines that are connected to the fault might be coming from one of these lines. So what I did here, I had to... I had to inject a solder a cable here because I want to inject voltage into the mobile PCB and monitor the section that the, the line is connected to because if there is a short, it can easily heat up the, the component heating up. So I use this because I don't have a thermal camera. A thermal camera is very expensive here, but I'm looking up to that because it makes things easy. So if you take a look you will see i inject voltage and uh, there was nothing hitting up even though the, there is a full shot there but there was nothing hitting up so i look into the into the bit mapping again so you can see we have this uh, power manager ic here and i i i can remember very well i solved one uh, problem on the pixel 6 pro around this area that's why i focus here i tested that capacitor is shorting these small capacitors right here they are all shorting as you can see i'm performing the test here if you check that one also so that's a shot see you can see i'm testing both sides that's a shot right there so when it's shorting you can see we have a lot of uh, places shorting that's because they are connected to the same line uh, that I showed you in the beginning of the video that's why you can see a shot there which means that any of these uh, components might be shortened but we just have to find a particular one if not it will be like you'll have to remove ICs and all that so I'm injecting voltage here to see uh, if anything will hit up if check my this power supply you will see the current draw but yeah there is nothing hitting up also the line is connected to these two bigger capacitors right there so take a look what i'm going to do here you can see the current row and yeah nothing is hitting up so what i did is that uh, uh, i actually did not record i forgot to press the record button let me just explain if you take a look you will see the 4 volt inject uh, 4.5 volt inject section that i just showed there I increase the the power supply voltage to 4.5 volt inject it to those two capacitors because they are connected like, let me see that capacitor because when I see two you will think that you just have to connect the two capacitors no one of them if you connect just one of them will be okay because they both of the sides the sides are connected right 
so I inject voltage right there and increase the voltage to uh, 4.5 volt and the capacitor that you see I marked right there that I just said monitor with that arrow the capacitor was heating up just a little bit and I was able to see it heating up just because I increased the voltage. So this doesn't really mean that you can increase voltage up to 4.5 volt on any section that you are working on in a, on a mobile PCB. It depends on the section. So I increase this. I know that the section can handle the 4.5 volt. Well, um, so is my right here. You can get my courses right now with a 50% discount. You can send me a message using the number on the screen, follow, subscribe for more videos. So thank you and see you soon.